You never know what's going to be sitting here early morning like this. And so I think I'm already on. Yep, I'm already on. That took two seconds. Big fish, guys. Oh, my goodness. Beach bomb is on with a good one. Beach bomb's on with a good one. Oh, you missed the net job. I was looking at the other fish. I'm you trying. missed. Oh, my God. Whew. What is up, dudes? Welcome to another video here. It is way before daylight, and uh, guess what? We're getting back on my boat today, and check out who who I brought with me right behind me here. That's the old beach bum. He's getting off land today. We're gonna go uh, go do us a little boat fishing. I'm trying to wake up, man. I just drove in from Alabama. It was like I got. I don't even know what time. What time is it right now? It's the same time that I always meet you down at the beach. Okay. Yeah. So oh, man, that sucks. That's only fair. <laughs> the other day, beach bum. Literally, this dude right here. He risks his life for my fish. So I'm like, I got to invite him out on the boat for that. I mean, that's a good friend to go jumping down a gator slide to, to get your trout. Okay, so we got to take Beach Bump fishing today, put him on some fish. Let's go right now. We're going to catch up with you guys here when it gets daylight, here in a few minutes when we get the fishing spot. We just got out here and we're starting on the beach right here. And I've got a lot of different stuff. I'm going to use uh some of my lures in my mystery tackle box and i'm also going to use some live shrimp i'm going to start with a live shrimp right here and i've got it on a one ounce jig head we got a lot of current and guys today's video is sponsored by mystery tackle box if you're not familiar with mystery tackle box they are a subscription-based box that will show up at your doorstep every single month. I'll have you an assortment of different lures, like some of the ones you see on my channel, like one of the lures I'm about to use right now here to catch a big red fish. And all of their info will be linked in my description below. But if you'll check this out, guys, I've got my uh, Luz 400 speed spin reel with a toadfish rod, and it's spooled with 15-pound braid and we're just gonna kind of pitch it around down here and see if we can get bit early morning, see if there's a redfish sitting here, see if there's a, uh, you never know. There, You never know what's gonna be sitting here early morning like this. And so I think I'm already on. Yep, I'm already on. That took two seconds, big fish guys. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hey, get the ego net. Man, I don't even know freaking... Get the ego net, oh my gosh. Guys, that was, Oh, I don't even have my hands free. Just that was wild. Oh, look, shorter? big redfish, big slot oh red. Gosh. Net him. What, 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 Dude, him? what? what? Uh, oh, my gosh. No, I got him on a shrimp. That was yeah. immediate. I got to get a bait now. Right back here in the slide well. <laughs> guys, that took a total of five seconds. Literally. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to release this guy. Look what a beautiful redfish right there. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. We got to do that again. That was like money right here. Absolute money. It's fat. You're on, aren't you? Oh, I thought you were. Okay. Just kidding. Uh-oh. Beach bomb is on with a good one. Beach bomb's on with a good one. All right. I'm going to net his fish here. Oh, this is a good fish. <laughs> we got the ego net Brent, right here, guys. This is insane, Brent. I'll link them in the description in case you want to check them out. They make great nets. Good fish, dude. Man, I can't. Not... Oh, oh my no, goodness! Are you kidding me, man? What happened? It broke me. Oh my god! There's a lot of rocks down there. Brent, what the crap, man? <laughs> okay, dude. This is insane. So, guys, there's also a lot of fish down there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little. Uh, They're blowing up on something. I know. I'm gonna use this shrimp that I got out of my mystery tackle box, and I'm gonna tip it with a piece of fish bites, and just see if that's gonna work here because there is just a ton of fish down there. And the reason I have a one ounce jig head is just because it's it is really deep right here. I'm already on, already on big fish, big fish on the on the lure. Big fish on the lure as soon as it gets down there, guys. I had a lure, dude. Get the net. I'm, so, I'm like panicking right now. Beach bomb's panic mode, guys. Beach bomb is panic. I'm not even ready. I'm not even prepared. Look what a redfish, dude. That's a nice red, dude. Oh, my goodness. That's a good one. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh, look at all of them underneath him. No there was like 20 of them oh, underneath him. Oh, you missed the oh, net I job. I was looking at the other fish. I'm you missed. All right, there it is. There he is. I hope he flips off. There he goes. Sweet. All right, you got to do your thing, man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> look at that, guys. Another beautiful redfish right here. That's a 22 incher. We're going to release him. We're not keeping fish today. Thank you, buddy. This is so cool, guys. Literally every bait we're throwing down is getting destroyed. I'm, I'm in panic mode. Beach right bumps now. in I, panic mode trying to get tied up. I mean, it's, it's two zips. Like, I already broke one off. And I'm over there throwing a um, look at all the fish on top right there. Look that, at them that, rolling. What is it? Look at it. I don't know. I think it's, it's blues or ladyfish or blues, maybe. But they're. I Every single, it doesn't matter. I look the shrimp out of my mystery tackle box or live shrimp. Every bait's getting absolutely hammered. I got to get back after them. All right, beach bum's gonna shrimp it. I'm gonna go back to the lure because we don't have many shrimp. Even though them shrimp are getting hit in like T minus two seconds. No, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. Um, all right. So see, let me show you. See that rock right here let me show you where where the redfish okay. or you may be getting bit oh that was fish, so, yeah so the redfish yeah I want, I want you. are gonna be sitting kind of right here that's the cast for them i think that there is another big redfish in here somewhere and it's just a matter of us hooking up you got one yeah mangrove no nah, is it yeah, it is. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's a random little bit. No, I think it's a mangrove, honestly. <laughs> I think it's a big mangrove, or though, maybe. Oh, yeah. Keeper. Another. Man, we could have had a mess of these things today. Oh, oh we got a big one. Got a good one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Beach Bums finally got a big one. All right. All right, you're good. Now you can back off. You can back off of him now. That's a big red. That's a nice red. Nice red. All right. Come here. We're going to put him in the ego net. Just nice and easy. There we go, dude. Nice work. Oh, that's a he's got a bunch of spots on him, man. That's real cool. Yep. Oh. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I missed him again. Quit around, bro. <laughs> oh, there oh, we, we go. go. <laughs> I got a redfish, man. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah, dude. Nice. Oh, heck yeah. Man, I am, I am happy. Old beach bum got him a redfish. Brant's been working hard to get me on a fish this morning. That just completes the morning right there. That was a little bit kind of getting concerned. I'm on. As Brant's catching the fish right now. I think this is a mangrove though. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's on fire. Beautiful redfish. We we have had a, a stellar morning, man. We could have had a lot of really good eating fish. On that side. I think that there's another good one in there too. Oh. I don't know if he's on, but he's definitely just got popped. My bait just got picked up. There he is. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, it's a big one. Is this a big one? Ah, big fish. Big fish. Oh my gosh, I got to get him out of the structure. He's in the structure. This is the best, best fish of the day. Oh gosh. Best fish of the day right here, hands down. Yeah. Guys, this is a good fish right here. He's picture worthy. This one's gonna go on it. Oh, what Wait, a, a freaking red? nice redfish. Oh, yeah, nice one, Big slot. Heck yeah, dude. Come here. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this has been an outstanding morning. That is our, what is that, our fifth, fourth or fifth redfish. Countless mangrove snapper. Every bait that we're putting in is just getting destroyed. This guy's got a bunch of spots. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots. Just a beautiful fit. All right, buddy, we're going to release you. Thank you so much for that right there. Hey, there you go. That's all right. You're going to get hung here, man. It's part of the game. Nope, oh, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite, there he is. 
There he is. Come here. Come here. Uh, that may be a red. Oh, dang it. That may be a red. Come here, buddy. No, big old mangrove, dude. Look what a mangrove. Oh, dang. That's a, that's a great thing. big toad mangrove snapper. We would have actually had some great fish to eat today if we were keeping we, fish. We some... Guys, we just moved over to another spot right here. Uh, the other spot kind of slowed down, and so we're going to give this one a try. Let's get back in there and see if we can get us a good one. Yeah, you may, it may work out. Oh, that's as soon as, it, gosh, as soon as it hits the water, guys. These mangroves are on fire. They are destroying these shrimp. Look at there, another grover. We could have dinner. We could have a nice box of fish. All right, buddy, nice pretty mangrove snapper. We're going to release him. Man, this is uh, turning out to be a good day, guys. Turning out to be... A good day. So if you can get it just short of these rocks right here, kind of right in there, you're going to be on immediately. Reel in about three feet, dude, right there, just so you don't get hung up. Yeah, he's already got me. You got him? Oh, ah, I'm off. He broke me off. Dang it. You got a mangrove? Yeah. Dude, the mangrove bite is hot and heavy right now. It's the smallest one we've caught this morning. Hey, I would expect nothing less. <laughs> Let's get her back out there. You cannot throw a bait in right now without it just getting absolutely hammered by something. All right, which is cool. This is my kind of fishing. When I used to run charters, this would be like a, oh, I missed him. This would be like a great trip for a client, a great inshore trip because they could just sit here and get bit on every single cast and that just go oh, just like that and that just keeps the action just hot and heavy <laughs> oh look at there well we got another hardtail no a jack that's a jack we got a little kerbal little baby jack so what we're doing now is something crazy so we had the hurricane the other day and it made like another pass here in pensacola like it completely washed out the beach just west of pensacola pass and made another opening and we're just going to inspect and see what it's like but there it is guys so that used to be and that used to be complete land that was dunes and an island you could never see through this now and now that's the gulf of freaking mexico right in front of us which is freaking nuts right there and like I've never ever been able to see that right there so crazy so we've got a pass another pass being formed right there and another pass being formed right there so like one more hurricane and I think we've got a whole new pass being dug in Pensacola so you want to see something super interesting okay so here's my sonar right here or my GPS excuse me this is my GPS my GPS says we're in one foot of water but the depth is really eight foot, okay? So that means that this area is usually one foot of water, but now it's eight foot. So there is a path being formed here, which means it has potential to be good fishing. And so me and Beach Bum are gonna give it a shot and see what happens. All right, so we are approaching the little cut here. This is it. Beach Bum's already caught a ladyfish out of it. And, uh, we're just going to see, man. Maybe there's a school of redfish or who knows? You never know. Maybe there's trout in here. It's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Oh, good God. He's oh, back. Chasing, chasing inmates over there. Really? Yeah. Dude, he just smoked this freaking thing. Oh, that's a big lady. Look at there. Mr. Lady. I'm just trying to catch up with Bama on the ladies that's here. Right. You gotta get that lady count up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Check it out, guys. Beautiful lady. I'm trying to catch up with Bama. My lady fish numbers are rookie numbers right now. And so, there we go. I mean, wouldn't you say that that was like a super eventful morning? I felt like I was on a five-star guided trip this morning with Grant Peacher. Did you hear that? Five-star, <laughs> folks. Five-star. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't run guided trips anymore. 
but that is what a normal guided trip would look like for me back when I did inshore fishing guides. Um, man, we had a great time, a great time. Melanie just texted me and she was like, hey, I made a bunch of food, so I'm excited to go home and see what she made. I'm gonna put that in the video as well, so y'all stay tuned. What are, what are you whipping up over here, huh? Well, I'm going to make a little Look at this, a snack. Or lunch. Okay, this looks more, more than a snack. <laughs> What is it? Okay, so you take your ground beef. That's actually ground bison, bison. according to Melanie. It's a bison. It's it kind of seasoned like taco meat. Okay. So I seasoned it like taco meat, and then I made kind of like a, almost like a, a queso. Okay, so that's, the, we put the queso over put the, the queso bison. queso over the meat. Gotcha. Oh man, look at there. So then the, the meat and the cheese are warm. Okay. So they're going to kind of melt. All right. What and else we... Cheese, and right? I see jalapenos. If we have jalapenos, we know it's going to be good. <laughs> so you like it spicier than me. Mm-hmm. So we're going to put the jalapenos on. Look at that. That already looks like a that looks that you. That is like a Brant-type lunch right there. right there. Okay, now you're going to top it. So you've got the hot meat the hot cheese, but the salsa, this is just Publix organic medium salsa. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. put that on top. Mm -hmm. Now get some chips and just dig in. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And I would just like to add our dishwasher is broken. That's why I'm using plastic silverware. Otherwise, I would use my regular silverware. I'm tired of doing dishes 24 seven. This is awesome. Just getting to come home to good food. This is like uh, nachos, baby. Mmm. Whoops, I'm spilling. There's a lot of different flavors in that. The bison meat is awesome. I'm a big fan of bison meat. Man, let me tell you what. I'm super blessed to be able to get to go out there. Mama and I had a great day. You get to come home. Melanie is just doing her thing. She is just so talented in the kitchen. And I'm just super blessed. And I tell you guys, this is what I do every day. Get up in the morning, go make a video, come home, eat some delicious food like this. And now I got to go turn around here very shortly and go show some houses to some YouTube subscribers because I have YouTube subscribers contacting me like every week now to sell them homes. And so it's just uh, really cool what we've created here on this channel and it's all because of you guys. And I really, really wanna shoot you guys a thumbs up because of that. So you guys make it possible. I'm gonna eat some more of this. Mm. No, oh, look at this. This is like nacho heaven, bison meat, nacho heaven. I'll be honest with you, it's better than fish. And I've still got Melanie's pie in there from last video because that pie. Well, there's about half of a There's a sliver left. There's a sliver left. If you enjoyed that video, me and Bam out there, shoot us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're looking to buy or sell a house in the state of Florida, hit me up. My email is in the description. If you have any questions about fishing or anything, hit me up on Instagram, Angler Up with Brant. Do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Hope each and every one of you have a great week.